Welcome back to Good Morning Kenya. I'm Mike Itai. Next up, tukona artist mungine upcoming mkale sana. Goes by the name Mr. Chairman. Ejina ni kubwa. Ejina ni kubwa sana. Let's uh, dive straight into it. Let's start with the name Mr. Chairman. Yes. Why, kwa nini ulichagua yo jina? Ah, siku chagua. Mm. Siku jichagulia. Mm. Uh, originally naitua kevo. Kwa inge mbao na njua. Mm. But so, mziki wangu ni storytelling. Mm. Nandika story ambao na ni kama nafanya hadithi fulani hivi. So most of the times nime perform nikiwa nimeketi. So mimi utanipata kwa stage na kuja na hype ama mm. sijui nipe mkono nini nini. So na kuja na kiti I'm giving a story. Mm. I want you to listen to it. Unjue nasema nini. Hebu hata kwanza tupatie scenario unaweka kiti. Alafu yeah. unaimba. Assume you are the MC. Mm. Umeniita wapi wakofi ama whatever yeah, Mr. Chairman yeah tashukuru uh -huh. mm -hmm. so nitakuja na kiti mm -hmm. so everyone nita take att your attention first nitakuja na kiti so first utashanga nataka kufanya nini na hiyo kiti mm. but nitakuja niweke pale mbele alafu ni kiti then ngoma iwekwe so i'll be telling your story through the song so people used to call me Mr. Chairman ule jamaa wa kiti mm. ule jamaa wa kiti so i took what people gave me simple na Iyo first instance ndio watu wanze kukuita sasa Mr. Chairman. Yes. Ilifanyika by accident vile ulienda na kiti, ulikuwa umechoka hiyo siku ama Hapana. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, nimetokea Nakuru County. Mm -hmm. And if you know Nakuru iko na talents nyingi sana. Mm -hmm. Karibu kila mtu ni msanii by the way. Wasanii wanachipuka kila siku. So ndio stand out lazima kuwa unique sana. Mm. Unaona? So lazima ufanye kitu ambacho utabaki wewe una stand out. So nilikuwa nataka kitu kama hicho. Alafu nilikuwa naenda na kiti ndio hata ukikutana na mimi kesho utanikumbuka ule jamaa wa kiti. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Twende nyuma kidogo sasa. Yes. Music. Ni time gani ulisema okay mimi nataka kuwa musician. Na kumbuka unaweza kumbuka ni nini ilikuwa inspire kuingia sasa uh, kwa hii ministry. Kwa sababu unaitumia kama ministry. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Ah uh, nimesikiza wasanii wengi sana. Mm. Ah uh, waimbaji wengi sana. Mm -hmm. Sana sana nilikuwa nafuatilia. Unaona zile CD nini zile za zilikuwa zinaikuwa kwa decks pale. Mm. Ya yeah, DVD hizo enzi. Mm -hmm. So ningekuwa na CD za waimbaji wengi sana nafuatilia nataka kuwa kama wao na shika nyimbo zao. Kama nani? Kuna mwimbaji anaitwa Ilagosa wa Ilagosa. Mimba mm -hmm. Mungu wako atakupigania. Mm -hmm. You know people know that song. Mm -hmm. Nilikuwa kulikuwa na hizo nini zake nyingi sana tape kwa nyumba so ningefuatilia sana paka naimba nyimbo zake unaona but sasa nikiimba nyimbo zake watu wanafurahia lakini watu wananiambia ah lakini unatupima maana mm. sasa usiandike ya kwa mbona unimba za wenyewe mm. eh yeah. so ilikuwa ni challenge unaona so sema eh hata mimi naweza jiandikia mm. na nikiimba inakuwa ni mimi sasa yeah. na kabla uambiwe hivyo mm -hmm. ulikuwa na unahisi una aje ulikuwa unaona ni kama ni kitu unaweza fanya wewe mwenyewe hata kabla upatie validation from other people Uh, ni kitu nilikuwa naona naweza fanya mm. lakini sikuwa nataka ku force. Unazapata napenda mziki lakini mimi si msanii. Kwa mm. napenda mziki na si msanii labda ni songwriter <laughs> tu ama ni mfano wa kusikiza nyimbo tu. Mm. So ni have kujisikiza kwanza mimi mwenyewe. Mm. So unasikiza nafsi yako nikapata kweli mm. kitu iko ndani yako. Ndijita mkutano. Eh kajita ka meeting <laughs> kidogo. <laughs> Nikapata nimeandika hapo ka song mm. ka huruma huruma hivi unanzanga ka song ka huruma hivi. Mm. Eh alafu kanakuja watu wanasema eh ulianza na wimbo wa huruma. Unaweza kumbuka hey, the lyrics? We, we, we. Ama ni nini ulikuwa na wazi hiyo wakati? Matatizo. Matatizo. Utaanza na shida, utaanza na kitu kingine. Mm. Nilikuwa naimba yani kama kalongolongo mm. kweli 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 hakuna kitu kibaya ye kama matatizo bana ah yananizingua hey. so ilikuwa tu ni <laughs> ka flow tu mm. ka kuivivi tu lakini alikuwa kanashika shika hizo mm. mm. now how did you get to nairobi kwa sababu most of your tracks umezifanyia hapa nairobi yeah. and uh, you stay in nakuru we'll get back to nakuru in a few minutes lakini your transition ule mm. jipataje nairobi mm. Um, ni place ambao nimekaa pia mm. kwa sana mm. before niende huko kwenye niko kwa sasa nimekaa huku sana and uh, waimbaji wengi wanafuatilia wako huku process ya usanii wengi wame grow wako huku wanasonga Nairobi is a city it's a big city mm. ndio center ya kila kitu mm. so inabidi uende utafute lakini vile umesema mm -hmm. nakuru kuna master yeah so kwa nini ongesema mm hata -hmm. nianzie hapa nakuru Nairobi itakuja baadaye. Okay, nimeanzia pale, manzia pale but you know kuna kitu natafuta. Mm. 
na hicho kitu ambacho unatafuta mm. unapata ni ngumu kukipata huko au okay. wale ambao wako na hicho kitu ambacho unatafuta walikuwa huko wamesonga wamekuja mm. Nairobi unajua utawafata mm. yeah. umesema mara kadhaa kuna kitu fulani unatafuta yeah. ni nini hiyo uh, watu ambao nimekaa nao wamenifunza kufanya kazi safi mm. ambao hata nikikuletea wewe utaikubali mm. Na sisemi huko tufanye kazi. Ndio nilikuwa nataka nikuulize kwa leo unasema unakuta. Unapeleka huko eh. I just think I need something great, something mm. kitu kali tu and mm. uh, sijapatana na mtu labda atanipatia test yangu, test sana. Watu ambao wako na test yangu maybe sijapatana nao huko. Mm. Ndio. In terms of now production. Yeah, production mm. kazi nafanya video, audio, lazima uwiano tukue mimi na wewe yani tunaelewana unielewe mm. usiniambie tu hapa ujimba vizuri ungeimba hivi mm. lakini pia unielewe niko na nini nataka kutoa mm. alafu nasikiza na unanisikiza oh, the full painting kabla moja yeah. kuchora yeah, and that is music nimekupata nao nataka kabla tuendelee na you know maybe the challenges that you may face especially after coming all the way from nakuru to nairobi mm -hmm. uh, let's go back to nakuru yes umeriziwa na shush Let's talk about Shush. Shush anasemaje about the music? Actually, Nakuru na uweze linganisha na Nakuru, you spend a lot, a lot kwa sababu si producer mmoja atafanya hiyo kazi. Mm. Yote back tuseme labda Nakuru ama producer wengine atakufanyia kazi yote. <laughs> It's very tricky. Tunaona watu wanakoje juu ya kiki? Aha. Uh -huh. Mhm. Kweli. Wewe oh, unaona hiyo situation? Um wasanii wengi pia so kila mtu anatafuta mbinu ya kutokea anatafuta kitu ambacho atafanya abaki pale labda maintain atoke pale so i'll say ukiwa kwa gospel i think you are kiki there is something kama kiki huko people are doing it but it's not supposed to be that ambayo watu wana wanashtuka wana shtuka na wewe kidogo uh, mimi nakuja na kiti mm. but sio kiki ambayo itadhuru mtu na kuja na kiti siku moja maybe hiyo kiti nikifanya kila siku kila siku mm. si unaona mm. itakuwa kitu mbaya kwa watu pale mbele mm. so i think ni strategy ya kutokea kwa sababu waimbaji ni wengi mm. it's hard kutokea watu wanaimba huku nje lakini mtu mtu angeona ni kambu ojo kwa Mungu utanyenyekea kwanza mm -hmm. urudi chini uh -huh. then you need patience you have to be humble lazima utulie Mungu <coughs> kwa wakati wake mm. mambo yake so mambo ya Mungu yanaenda na utaratibu wake mm. so sidhani kama huku nje ndo kuforce si kile una force v2 kaende kaende tena tukisonga i feel me na feel hivyo acha nikuulize kabla uendelee yes usiogope kusema vile umesema secular ndio watu wana force yeah. ni nini umeona ikaku kakuudhi <laughs> yeah vile wenye wana force vitu alafu inanudhi mm. ah <laughs> sawa basi haina haina issue ah uh, i think uh, kuna wasanii ambao walikuwa maybe kwa gospel si ndio alafu wamesonga wamesonga wamefika mahali maybe wakaona mambo ya Mungu Sometimes Mungu akisema ngoja una tu natulia labda amefeel hivyo amezungumziwa hivyo uh, maybe wana switch wanaingia into secular you see so they start mm. ku force vitu na kiki zingine like unajua ah uh, jamaa sema labda lini inspire mm. una lini inspire mahali nikianza so unapata they are inspiring watu then all of a sudden wanaanza ku force vitu vingine tu ambavyo mm. havikuwa vyao mm. eh, so, kama nani <laughs> tu tunawajua <laughs> tunawajua tu lakini yote sawa yote sawa yote sawa yote sawa asante sana now there's a amekuwa kwangu yes let's talk about that because that's your first music video yeah your feeling ya kuona kazi yako ndio inakuwa appreciated ulikuwa na feel aje niambie your feeling did you feel accomplishment only feel Unataka sasa zaidi nini ilikuwa na go through your mind your time Tukifanya hiyo song actually we did pray a lot got mm. to pray tunafanya video tunachukua short shots kidogo tena tuna pray tena tunarudi I felt like ni song ya kwanza lakini I felt like itanifikisha mahali mm. so when we released kulikuwa na time ya corona ndio ilikuwa imeshika sana mm. 
tukatoa tukatoa all of a sudden kuka fungwa mm. so wezi kuja Nairobi wezi kuja mahali popote wezi fanya but nilipenda kwa sababu watu walikuwa wanauliza hey mambo tumeona hii song ni poa sana unaweza tokea mm. and then like niko na kuru ama watu wengine wananiambia ni aje tunaweza taka kuja event nini am niko na kuru kumefungwa siwezi toka watu walikuwa wananihitaji nilikuwa na feel watu wana na appreciate sana na ni song ya kwanza something ambayo ni mambo ya Mungu tu sio kitu rahisi na wimbo wa kwanza mm. so ili nipatia saiki kanipatia nguvu ya kutaka kufanya kazi nyingine haraka sana 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 mm. lakini kulikuwa na hiyo duration vile umesema lockdown ndio ilikuwa inaendelea yeah kuna nini nilikupatia motivation ukasema acha kwanza ni ngoje kwa sababu naona mm -hmm. uh, ilikuwa 2 years ago yeah. ya kwanza alafu ilikuwa like a year later mm -hmm. ndio niliweza kufanya ya pili in between nini nilikuwa nakupatia motivation sema lazima lazima ndaendelea na Kenya nimeanzisha <laughs> ile ilikuwa sasa ishatoka iko nje alafu sasa ndio napata support yake kwa sana alafu mm. ni kitu moja so unajua hata wewe utachoka kusikiza kitu tu moja. Mm. So watu walikuwa wanahitaji zaidi. Na watu washaanza ku kunipata, washaanza ku kunifuatilia. Watu wananifuatilia naona huyu jamaa ana kazi moja tu. Huyu jamaa ana kazi nyingine. Mm. So unaona. So I felt like wacha nitoe nyingine nibariki watu. Wacha nitoe nyingine watu wazidi kunifuatilia kujua nasema nini. Mm. Unaona. So hiyo moja one is not enough. Mm -hmm. I had to do <laughs> kwa sababu ile iko kule inatembea mm -hmm. sasa inatembea moja si nisindikisha na nyingine sasa hivi lazima iko hapo mbili na sasa hata ndo nataka nyingine ya tatu sasa sasa ya tatu kwanza inakuja mm -hmm. inakuja sana moto ile pasi ile ai wangoje mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what's in store for Mr Chairman uh, is there an EP is there an album you know hakuna EP mm -hmm. uh, kuna album so easy as they enjoy their tea yeah. Ni nini unaweza taka kuambia watu wa, kwa zile changamoto zote zenye umepitia? Nini umelearn na ni nini unaweza taka watu wa bebe as they go about their day to day? Ah uh, you have talent. Uko na talent pale nje. Kuna talent kuna watu wengine wako na talent washaanza kuji kuji kuzitoa kujifanyisha kazi fulani mbili tatu. Kuna wale ambao wako nazo haja discover. Sometimes you need to discover yourself. People don't know that. Unafaa kuji discover sometimes. Eh, hey, kumbe mimi ni msanii, kumbe mimi naimba. Na people you relate with, people wanaweza kuambia, "Na you can sing, you can dance, you can do this." Unaweza. So, unafaa kuji usipende comfort zone. Comfort zone sio poa. Jipatie challenges, usi avoid challenges. Watu wengi wanasema, "Ah, kwenda ku record ita tan cost hela nyingi kwenda kufanya video tan cost hela nyingi ama kwenda kufanya kitu fulani mm. mimi nikifanya mwe kwa kwangu a story short nilikuwa natoka town naenda home ngu kila siku mm. sina pesa sina sapa sina kitu ya kukula naenda kwa hiyo hao sijakula kitu na actually i was supposed to pay rent lakini kamwambia kiateka round yetu imechelewesha mshahara mm. ni kumbe mimi naenda kufanya video mimi na kupiga video kali pale so hizo challenges ndo zimefanya nime grow ndo mm. zimefanya nime songa usi avoid usi hepe hiyo njia unafaa kuzipita and then ukishapita unakuwa strong mm. you need to face your challenges usiziwache ziko pale ziko parking zinajazana mm. so pita one by one ukisonga and again talent ambayo umepatiwa it's a gift from god mm. so mungu amekupatia zawadi so na wewe unafaa kumzawadi. Mm. So remember always what you do with your talent. Ndio gift ambayo unarudishia Mungu. Mm. Whatever you do with your talent, it's the gift you are giving back to God. So what are you giving back to God? Mm. Yeah. It's a powerful message. <laughs> Sante. Watu wanaweza kupata wapi on social media waweze ku support your music? YouTube sana sana. I need you to subscribe. It is helping me a lot sana ukisubscribe and uh, ni Mr Chairman 254 yule mm. jamaa wa kiti si chairman wa chama chota man yule jamaa wa kiti Mr mm. Chairman 254 ukiweka okay, 254 it is only me mm. kwenye YouTube pale you subscribe you share alafu mitandao mingine Insta Facebook Twitter it is Mr Chairman 254 everywhere you go hata mm. mtu akikuuliza sema Mr Chairman 254 aseme Mr Chairman yeah. thank you so much for coming through nashukuru sana uh, kabla uende kuna swali lazima nikuulize being an election year mm -hmm. na your name being Mr Chairman yes wasanii wale umeona wanataka ku for seats yes. what do you think about that kuna wale wanasema 
don't use your popularity like that. Kuna wengine wanasema use your popularity like uh -huh. that. So wewe unasimama upande gani? If you are born a leader, you can always be a leader. Hakuna mtu atakukusimamisha. Sisi umekuwa shuleni. Mimi nilikuwa msanii shuleni, yule msanii ya shule na bado nilikuwa prefect mm. or the leader. Kuna watu walikuwa ma head boy nini. So huku nje ume grow you are still an artist, when comedian, tunawaona wengi. So there is a leadership peer in inside you. Mm. Apart from talent nini, what mm. can you do? What else can you do? Can you be a leader? Can mm. you be politician? You can as well do everything. Mimi ni msanii, mimi ni MC. Mm. You see? But hapo mbele maybe you need to discover yourself. What else can you do? People are discovering hey, naweza kuwa politician. So mm. I support them. Go for it. It is good. Na hata nikuuliza because uh, like you said you're born a leader and you know you have it within yourself. Mhm. Mm Vile in the future who knows. Yeah, you Do you know? know. Uh, would you? Ah. Uh, are there plans? <laughs> Every Mr. Chairman. Alakini kwangu mimi ni chairman tule wa kuja na kiti tu kuperform. Sidhani kama nina viwango hivyo. But kama Mungu utanifungulia ufunuo niweze kujua. Mm. Then ni sawa. Mm. Ni sawa. Thank you so much for coming through Vile Mr. Chairman amesema unaweza mpata at Mr. Chairman 254. That's on YouTube. Yeah. Subscribe, that's the best way to show your support and make sure Pia Bado una link up nae kwa social media platforms au vipi? Kabisa, kabisa yaani. I hope uh, see ati unabluti kwa hatu kwa DM na tunambia wakuze. Ah, ah, kwa nini, kwa nini, kwa nini? Lagi zungumza na mi poa. Uki mm. zungumza, <laughs> kuna watu mbao wanyo wanakwaneza fanya labda wa blutik, mm. labda aja kuambia kito mbacho, mm. eh, kinendana sawa na wewe. Mm. Let's relate, tusaidiani. Mm. ndio pia na mimi nikuzungumzie lakini mimi si naringia nini kwa Mungu mimi nimetulia tu mm. Mm. nice safi kabisa we'll be back after this